Hi, I'm Dulia um, from Honesty Europe. This is an organization I have founded with Pete, my business partner and my husband. Many times people ask me, so how did I end up doing Drive Honesty? And I thought, okay, I'll do a little short video around it. Um, as I do love this practice and I, I think it's fascinating and life-changing and for me really means a lot of freedom. So um, around 2011, I heard about Rag Honesty from my ex-husband. We were not together anymore at that point, but he told me he had come across, across it and he was kind of laughing like, yeah, then you tell people you're bad and whatever. And I thought, hmm, sounds weird, but interesting. So I Googled and, and read some and watched some videos by Brad Blanton. I'm like, ah, I actually, want to try this out i like it uh, so i went ahead and signed up to a seven day retreat in greece that brad used to run for many years and 2012 i showed up in greece in this beautiful um place in the mountainside in pilion, pilion peninsula in Kalikalos holistic community and we were i think around eight or ten other people weirdos <laughs> <laughs> quite daring people so I, I was pretty impressed I thought I was being pretty open uh, with my sharing and telling like shameful tricky things about myself and then I heard other people in the circle and I was like holy shit so yeah I got this part like I, I want more of this and I did some other trainings self-development I I went to Landmark Forum, I had a coach, um, I started to do a therapy program to become a therapist and I did more Rag Honesty and when I did my 8 day intensive with Brad and Taper Shadburn in in US in Denver, uh, I was like yeah, I want to do this, this is what I want, maybe I could run, lead workshops. And then I thought, well, uh, I imagine the answer will be no, and I will ask anyway. This is what I want. So I went to Brad and said, hey, I want to do this. And he said, yeah, I can see that. I can see you do run workshops. And I was like, whoa, really? So then uh, 2015, um, I invited Tabor as part of his tour to come to Finland and Amsterdam, where I organized two weekend workshops and uh, spent some time with him. And the group said, hey, when is the next workshop? Are you going to organize one? And then I thought, ah, oh, gosh, could I do it? So I did. 2015 autumn, I, I led my first own workshop in Amsterdam with, um, yeah, almost full or maybe even even full. And I was pretty nervous and somehow in this place of like, yeah, I can do it, you know, um, uh, like full confidence, <laughs> not really knowing what are all the things that can happen and come up. And still, yeah, people said they enjoyed it and they said, when is the next one? I was like, oh gosh, <laughs> really? So then I organized the next one, uh, the following year, 2016, and quite a few that uh, spring 2016 and learned a lot of, along the way um i don't think i was that perfect when i started off and still i imagine people did get benefits people say they they got realizations they liked it they found that i was being present for them and listen to them and not so such judgmental yeah so while I had a day job, I was leading weekend workshops. And first in Amsterdam and Central Europe. And then I wanted to do workshops in my home country in Finland. And it was pretty tough to fill it. So in my first workshop in Finland, I had four people. So after my great success of having almost full workshops in Finland, I had four people of which uh, two I already knew <laughs> and one of them was a friend of mine and I did it anyway I decided I'm gonna go through with it 
and it was a great workshop with four people and we did hot seat with everybody and yeah and then the next workshop i did in finland i had seven people and then after that i had 12 people and since then everything has been full all the workshops in finnish have been full so over time with persistence getting the message out um, there's people coming more and more and i have uh, got in, into more trainings uh, i'm doing reflections with other people to ongoingly develop my skills and practice rock honesty in my everyday life and feeling so free free and happy and able to ex express whatever is in my mind even the things that are shameful and embarrassing and tricky and difficult and things that uh, sometimes i would like to not so much talk about anymore leave behind stuff about my childhood and i'm willing to talk about them i'm willing to own them as part of my path and part of my history and still something that doesn't define me who i am at this very moment yeah that's some of my journey i'm very much enjoying it and i'm loving having regular honest friendships the relationship with my son with pete with many of the friends around and having this amazing community here in europe that i find really supportive and sometimes challenging great life that's the story for now. Ciao.